Blue Glass Fusers. In this video, I'm bringing you a fun, fast, easy project you can tuck in the corner of your kiln the next time you fire. These are called Hearts on Fire. I'm using stainless steel cookie cutters to make these super cute heart shapes. Before filling the hearts, you want to line the inside of the stainless steel molds with eighth inch thick fiber paper and a layer of thin fire fiber paper. The stainless steel will cool faster than the glass, so the fiber paper will prevent breakage when the glass and the mold are cooling. I like to use fine, medium, and coarse frit, as well as dichroic when I'm filling my molds. I use the coarse, clear frit as a filler to create layers, and then I layer colors in between the clear so they have this beautiful transparency when the hearts are done. The clear also dilutes these deep colors so that when the pieces are finished firing, they're not dark. They have a nice lustrous, deep look to them. And of course, every project can benefit from a little dichroic. I layer this in at different areas throughout the hearts to give a nice little flashy sparkle. The great thing about this project is it's a terrific way to experiment with colors and sizes and shapes and you're not using a lot of material or a lot of kiln space. In these examples, I'm using all transparent colors. Of course, you could mix in some opaque if you wanted to. I generally avoid using powder frit when doing cast pieces like this. Powder frit causes the pieces to be cloudy. They're not as transparent and they don't have that illusion of depth. Notice I'm applying the color in very specific areas. In some cases, I keep it out towards the side and then change colors. In other cases, I kind of put it in the middle. This gives the hearts a nice variety. Often I use these little test pieces to try out new color combinations that I then later use in larger, more elaborate pieces of art. Now I'm gonna introduce this dichroic that has stringers in it. This will really add a nice element inside this large heart. I'm working directly on a primed kiln shelf. This way it's easy to move these pieces into the kiln and then move them out after they're fired. This red is a really bold color, so I'm gonna use just a little bit of it and then add some clear so that I get that nice strong color, but I don't create a piece of art that's too dark. I like to layer my elements. I think that enhances the essence or the sense of depth in these little hearts. These fractures are a nice element because of the color. I just love that pale pink. Layering with clear ensures that I see each of these colors individually and they don't become muddy one on top of the other. The clear also ensures that I have a lot of transparency in these hearts, which I think makes them look prettier. But of course, that's a personal artistic opinion. The great thing about these small, fast projects is you can experiment and then use what you learn in these small experiments on larger projects later. Because these are small, I can fire these to a full fuse temperature along with other projects. And here they are after they've been fired. Look how adorable these are. And look at that beautiful rounded edge that we have. That's consistent with using the thin fire fiber paper. It adds a nice curvature, nice soft edge to the top of the hearts. I hope you enjoyed seeing how to make these little hearts. I hope it inspires you to try some of these small cast pieces on your own. There's a nice variety of cookie cutter shapes that you can find, so you can do any number of different designs. Here's the style and the set that I used for these particular hearts. Until next time, keep on fusing. You might like these tutorial videos that I have online. They're available on my website. I also have a series of instructional eBooks that you'll love. Be sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks and videos in the future.